Hey there and welcome to Fairfield City HQ's How To Series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create and customize a background that you can apply to your online meetings and teleconferences. With the majority of people having to work remotely, many business meetings are now having to be conducted from within our homes. And the fact of the matter is, not everyone has an immaculate home office or somewhere that they're comfortable displaying to co-workers. This tutorial will show you how to easily create a background to apply to your Zoom meetings that's customized with your business logo. Having a virtual background tailored to your business means that you can Zoom from virtually anywhere. To do this, we'll be using Canva. Canva is an easy to use online graphic design program that you can use to create a variety of both digital and print-based business collateral. It offers free accounts as well as Canva Pro, which is a paid subscription. This tutorial will focus on the free version though, so that any new users can follow along. Step one, go to canva.com and click sign up in the top right hand corner to create an account. Select sign up with email and then fill in your name, email address, and then create a strong password for a secure account. Once you're done, click get started. Step two, click create a design on the top right and scroll down the drop down menu to zoom virtual background. This will bring up a blank canvas on the right, some pre-made design templates and the toolbar all the way on the left hand side. Step three, select uploads on the toolbar and drag and drop your logo as a PNG file into the images tab. It's important that your logo is a PNG file with a transparent background. Step four, select your logo and it will appear in the center of the canvas. Here, you'll be able to crop, resize, move, and rotate your logo with a bounding box surrounding it. Step five, using the corners of the box around your logo, click and drag to resize the logo to the size you think it'll need to be. Keeping in mind that we're tiling the logo across the page, so it doesn't need to be huge, or it could become too distracting. For example, I'm going to resize my logo down to about this size. Step six, drag the logo to the top left hand corner of the canvas to begin creating a first row. You'll notice that some purple lines come up when your logo is in the top left hand corner. This is to tell you that the object you're dragging has been butted up exactly to the edge. Step seven. Next, we'll be duplicating the logo to create our first row. There are a few ways to do this. The quickest and easiest way I've found is to select your logo, hold Alt if you're using a PC or Option if you're using a Mac, and drag the logo across. This will create an exact duplicate. Also, holding the Shift key will lock the direction that you're dragging the logo in, so that my logo will only move across and not move up and down accidentally. Step eight. To continue making the row, repeat the last step over and over again, or click and drag the mouse around both logos to select both of them, and then using Alt on a PC, or Option if you're on a Mac, and drag both logos to duplicate them two at a time. Step nine, change the background color. If your logo has specific colors that you'd like to use, or if you simply want to change the background from white to another color, you can select the background by clicking on it. You'll know it's selected when it's outlined by a blue box. Then go to the top left hand corner of the canvas and select background color. This will open up a panel with a few different options for you to choose. You'll also see a heading that says photo colors. This samples colors from the, from the logo that we've placed in. And so in this case, because I have yellow in my logo, it sampled the yellow from my logo and creates this as an option for me. I'm gonna select this yellow with my background color because it goes with my branding here and I feel it'll be dynamic and eye catching. But you can experiment with the colors in your logo if you have more than one, or just choose black or white. Step 10. Now that our background color has been changed, we want to select the whole row and duplicate it. Simply click and drag a box over the whole row to select all the logos. And then with the logo selected, hold Alt if you're on a PC or Option on a Mac, and Shift drag the logo down. Step 11. To make the background more interesting, I decided to drag the row over to the left to tile it, similar to brickwork. You can do this by clicking and dragging your new row while holding shift, or for more precise adjustments. Just use the arrow keys on your keyboard until you're happy with the placement, and don't forget to fill in any gaps on the edges with a replacement logo 
by selecting the end one, holding Alt and dragging across. Step 12. Select both logos by clicking and dragging a mouse over them, and then hold Alt if you're on a PC or Option on a Mac, and drag the rows down until the background is full. You may have logos cut off at the bottom or the sides or feel like you need to readjust everything slightly. You can do this by selecting everything, by clicking and dragging and repositioning your logos as you see fit. As a final touch, I decided to make one last adjustment by selecting everything and using the little rotate tab at the bottom to rotate all the rows slightly, so they're on a slight angle. This step is completely optional, I just felt that it helped this design. And that's it, now you're done. All you need to do now is click download in the top right hand corner of the screen, download your design and apply it to the background of your next Zoom meeting or teleconference. Now you can Zoom from virtually anywhere. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or to find out more about what's on offer at FCHQ, click the link in the description. Thanks for watching.